This is the story about family. Multiple generations of skilled craftsmen, world-class invention, clocks, and yes, bells. And we're standing as we speak in Over the Rhine, in the heart of Cincinnati, Ohio, in front of the Verdon Bell and Clock Museum, which is housed in St. Paul's Roman Catholic Church, built in 1848. I.T. Verdon, the son of Alois Nicholas Verdon, was born in 1874 and inherited his knowledge of clock making and bell repair from his father. The Verdon family arrived here from Alsace, France in 1837. Francis de Sales Verdon, Alois's father and an uncle, had established a tower clock business in the Over the Rhine neighborhood where their first documented installation was the clock at Old St. Mary's Church in 1842. Today, that clock is the centerpiece of the Verdon Clock and Bell Museum. The family's reputation grew as IT's father, Lois Verdon, became one of the most respected inventors, master mechanics, and perfectors of automatic clocks. Father and son were well known as builders and repairers of bells and clocks in churches, courthouses, and city halls. Working in clock towers gave the Verdons many opportunities to learn about bells. And one of the things that IT thought about was the laborious nature of bell ringing, which did not change in centuries. Bells were hand rung with long ropes, limiting what could be done with many bells in a tower, requiring experience and dedication from volunteers or staff and necessitating frequent repair work. IT imagined a better way, something easy to use, modern and easy to install. And this was his invention, a device that created a whole new way of thinking, installing and operating bells in towers. The invention was a whole world changer. And in the tradition of invention and creativity, the family has maintained for generations. He created a whole new business for the Verdon Company. With the new automatic bell ringer invented by IT Verdon, bells could be fitted with ringing and swinging machinery and a timer that would allow each bell to be rung on a schedule chosen by the customer. The first Verdon ringers required an entire chamber below the placement of the bell to house the equipment. Today, although an automatic bell ringer works essentially as it did in 1927. The inclusion of digital controllers and self-contained ringers has created more compact installations. IT Verdon and his three sons began selling the automatic bell ringers throughout Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. I think that's the, the, the most unusual thing, is to have somebody that could really be dedicated to coming up with new ideas and uh, constantly try them and have the ability to uh, put them into action. Today, if you come up with the same idea, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of effort, which it did back then. But you can imagine to uh, have an idea like that and carry it through and then put it on the market and then sell it nationwide. And um, as we think back today, when we come up with new products, we really get back to saying, he did it back then, we can sure do it today with all the tools we have. So he's been a certain inspiration to all of us to come up with new ideas to uh, stay ahead of today's marketplace. In 1927, the IT Verdon Company incorporated the bell and clock business established three generations earlier by their immigrant grandfather. After IT Verdon died in 1936, his sons and their sons would expand nationally moving from a local Cincinnati company to one with a national sales force selling bells and clocks to churches, universities, municipalities, nonprofits, and businesses. What we've learned through the years is by building everything ourselves through all these departments, um, all of our products will stand the test of time to the end customer. And you look at the various things that IT Virgin's company has done even in the last decade or two. Uh, they're clearly at the cutting edge of their industry. They've expanded their uh, capabilities and their outreach, uh, their product lines, their service. 
And so, as always, in companies that are fortunate enough to survive, not only with the, um, the years as things change, but with the same family in charge, it's just a very remarkable story. And we're so fortunate to have a company like that here in Cincinnati. Today, the Verdon Company is an international leader in state-of-the-art clock, bell, and electronic carillon business. I.T. Verdon was the epitome of marrying new world invention with old world craftsmanship. A tradition that has been carried on by five generations of Verdons and now a sixth generation promoting it into the future. Thank you so much for the opportunity to highlight and recognize the contributions of I.T. Verdon and putting Cincinnati on the world stage.